Hi everybody, I'm John Carey. On this DVD we have 16 items, mostly with cards. Simple, solid, practical and powerful and durable pieces of material. Hey, we even have a sponge ball routine. And also uh, my take on a classic piece of coin and card magic combined. There's nothing on this DVD that anybody with a basic grounding and foundation in close-up magic can't do with a little bit of attention to detail and a little bit of practice. So get those cards, coins and sponge balls ready and let's have some fun. Now for something I've always wanted to say, take it away Russ. I think there might be too many cards here actually, Amy, so um, would you take some cards and cut them off the top? Just a bunch, yeah, and put them down there. That's lovely, we'll uh, give these a little mix, Natalie. Would you uh, just pull some cards out of the middle? Just pull a little bunch, three, four, five, six cards, it doesn't matter. Well, you're ambitious, it's about <laughs> nine, but that's cool. <laughs> put them just there for me. That's lovely, and uh, Amy, would you take some from the bottom as well? Three cards, four cards, five, I don't mind. Do you want to take one or two more? Do you want to put one or two back? Are you happy? No, yeah, I'm happy. Put them on there then, that's lovely. And uh, would you take that packet for me? Mm -hmm. And just in case you think I've done something sneaky, would you take the top card and lose it in the middle of the packet? They call that burning a card, just push it in the middle. In case you thought I got a little peek. Take the bottom card as well, the card at the very bottom, and lose that or burn that as they call it in the gambling world, yeah? And um, take a little peek at the uh, top card of that packet, yeah? I'll look away, yeah? Mm -hmm. You can show that to Natalie as well. You can show it to the camera as well, yeah? Tell me when you're ready. Okay, can I turn Can I turn back? Yep. That's lovely, I'm back. Okay, and uh, cut that packet and complete the cut. Now, is there anything I can know about the card you're thinking of right now? No. Yes, I know you've got about 14 cards there probably, give or take, and the card you're thinking of is in that packet, so shuffle that packet, okay. shuffle that packet. Beautifully done. Put that packet on top of the deck. Now, Amy, is there anything I can know about your card right now? That it's in there. Apart from this in there, that's it, yeah? That's it. Well, it could be 12 down, it could be 11 down, I could have been tracking your shuffle. Mm -hmm. Cut the pack and complete the cut. Cut off a chunk and put the other cards on top. Beautifully done. Now I couldn't know anything about your card, could I? No. Yes. I know there was about 12 <laughs> or 14 cards. You shuffled those cards, you put them on top, you cut the pack. It could be about 35, 38, 39 or maybe 42, 43 from the bottom or from the top even. So shuffle the back. How fair is that? It doesn't get much fairer, Natalie, does it? No. So you're just thinking of a card, you've shuffled the cards, you've done everything, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Because you didn't take a card out of the pack, did you? You didn't uh, deal down to one. No. Remember earlier you eliminated cards from the top, the middle and the bottom. I'm now going to make the card you're merely thinking of vanish and appear in my pocket. Right. Actually, there's an easy way of doing that, and it's called cheating. You put the pack in your pocket like that. Thank you very much. Would you settle for that? <laughs> it's a little gag. Actually, just think about your card, the colour, the suit, and the value. Just in your mind, don't tell me. Think about the colour of your card. So, for example, if it was red, think red. Do you get the idea, yeah? yeah? Now think about the suit of your card. For example, if it was a heart, think heart, yeah? yeah? Now just think about the value of your card. For example, if it was the two of hearts, say, yes, John, that was my card. <laughs> yes, John, that was my card. Hey, it's mind reading. <laughs> now, most magicians would stop right there, but this trick goes further than that. Remember, you shuffled that pack, yeah? yeah. Is that hand empty? Sleeve rolled up, watch. I'm gonna go down into my pocket, I'm gonna extract one card. I'm slowing up a bit, I normally do it in about half the time. But remember, I read your mind and told you you had the two of hearts. Not only that, but I found the two of hearts as well. How about that? Thank you very much indeed.